One of the things when I was looking at my first faculty position is where could I go to learn how to be the best faculty member and researcher and teacher I could possibly be. And Purdue really met all of those things. I admired all of the other schools of engineering at Purdue, some of which had been in existence for a hundred years, because they had such scope and scale and tremendous alumni and great research and thinking, if we could achieve that in biomedical engineering, we would really have something special that would impact students and their careers, but lots of patients who are in need of these medical technologies. I'm very, very pleased to be part of this uh, celebration of George Wodica. He's had an extraordinary impact on biomedical engineering here at Purdue. I remember quite vividly in 2001, I was in a meeting in Hovde Hall and Dean Schwartz and George Wodica told me about the Whitaker Foundation that was giving grants to universities that wanted to start biomedical engineering programs because all of the advances in modern biology when coupled with engineering could have an enormous impact on health and on understanding of disease. So all of a sudden in 2004, we had the resources to build a brand new building. And of course, at that point, the ball was fully in the court of George Wodeka, who was the head of the new school. Within a few years, we sort of went from a fledgling department to a full-fledged school with its own facility. And as part of the faculty growth, we could then offer an undergraduate program, as well as everybody into graduate school. He knew how to build the program. Today, Purdue Biomedical Engineering is one of the top programs in the country. One of our earliest wins was our ability to attract truly high quality and dedicated staff and faculty and students to our operation. I really was inspired to see how you can persist and focus on solving a problem and sticking with it for a long time for it to ultimately become something that's used clinically. How many patients have been directly helped through the technologies that we've invented or developed? If you actually look over the past 25 years, that number's, I think, approaching around 10 million patients worldwide. It reflects literally a patient being helped just about every minute of every day from something that we've developed here. Biomedical engineering is moving us from a reactive way of either gathering data about a patient or helping that patient to one that is continuous and preventative. What you did over such a an extended period of time has very few replicas that I'm aware of in Purdue history or anybody's history. On behalf of the Weldon School, we'd like to present to you now the George R. Wadica Atrium of Biomedical Engineering. When you are at the ground floor, and you're moving from like a small shell space in a building somewhere else on campus, to casting a vision, to getting the folks, to building a program. Getting it off the ground is just a Herculean task. And I think that's what his legacy will be.